Welcome, gentlemen. There's going to be no fluff and no pretense, just the raw, unfiltered truth we're about to dive into right now. It's about life, your life, and the bitter lessons you would wish you knew earlier when the future comes knocking with a reality check that sting. But this isn't about pointing fingers. It's about growth, about change. You might squirm, you might feel exposed, but isn't it better to confront the bitter truth today than swallow the regret pill tomorrow? I'm not here to comfort you with soft lies or paint pretty but unreal pictures. I'm here to hold a mirror to your life, a mirror that reflects not what you want to see, but what you need to see. You may feel a lump in your throat or a punch in your gut. You may wish to turn away, but I urge you, stay with me. Because at the end of this journey, you'll find not just life lessons, but the keys to a fulfilled life. That's the promise, fellas. Now if you're ready, let's take a deep dive into lessons most young men learn far too late. Will it be uncomfortable? Possibly. Will it be worth it? Definitely. Lesson 1. Choosing the wrong woman. Let's break ground with this startling revelation. Your partner, the person you choose to share your life with, can be the fulcrum of your success or failure. There's a saying that says that you are the average of the five people you spend and surround yourself with. So how much more critical would the woman you end up spending most of your life with be to your life's trajectory? Let me tell you the story of Jake. Jake was that guy, the type every girl desired and every guy envied. Life for him was a revolving door of partners. It was a game, the chase and the catch were exhilarating and the best part was getting the validation from his boys, the nod to his prowess with women, the bragging rights, the more the merrier, right? But here's where Jake made a mistake, chasing the same type of women and not taking the values and morals of the women into account bred a dangerous misconception that all women were ultimately the same. And the kicker, Jake slipped up. He ended up putting a baby in one of his rotations, stressed out of his mind with no peace due to drama every day and having his child raised by a woman who had nothing of value to impact to his child. When it comes to women, quality trumps quantity. Don't fall for the toxic trap in our social media generation of likes and Tinder swipes and exchange deep connections for shallow validation. Remember, the value of a partner doesn't lie in their number, but in their worth. And the worth of a partner is measured not just by their outward appeal, but even more importantly, their inward qualities. It's about finding someone who compliments you, challenges you, grows with you, respects you, and gives you peace, not someone who merely adds to your tally in your black book. Lesson 2. The Trap of a Mismatched Profession All right, gentlemen, let's switch gears. Your profession. That place where you spend a good chunk of your life. That ladder you're supposed to climb. What if I told you that ladder might be leaning against the wrong wall? Consider Adam. Like many, he pursued a career for the wrong reasons. Prestige, money, societal pressure. Adam became a lawyer, not out of passion, but out of an urge to fit the conventional mold of success. He was good at it, no doubt, but did it light a fire within him? Far from it. Each day Adam woke up to a gnawing void, a lingering dissatisfaction. He was living someone else's dream while his own passions withered on the vine. He spent his life in a suit he didn't want to wear, arguing cases he didn't believe in. The law is a noble profession, but it wasn't Adam's calling. His heart yearned for something different, for the thrill of storytelling, the freedom of the written word. Adam was born a writer, but he was living the life of a lawyer. See the problem here? By chasing a career that didn't align with his passion, Adam was setting himself up for a lifetime of discontent. He was excellent in his field, but inside, he felt empty. The prestige, the money, it all seemed hollow. His soul craved for something money couldn't buy, fulfillment. Guys, we need to get real about this. Not every passion can be turned into a career, but every career should be fueled by some degree of passion. It's the difference between the fire that lights you up and the job that burns you out. Don't let societal expectations dictate your path. Don't silence the calling of your heart for the sake of fitting in. Don't become another Adam, trapped in a profession that pays the bills but starves the soul. So take a step back. Examine your choices. Is your ladder leaning against the right wall? Or are you climbing aimlessly, heading towards a peak that holds no joy for you? Lesson 3. The Downfall of Failing to Commit Now let's talk about something that we often sweep under the rug, Commitment. 
Some people look at commitment like it's a dirty word, but let me tell you something, it's not. It's a word of power, a word of growth. And when you shy away from it, you rob yourself of that power. Take the story of Mike, for example. Mike was a typical jack of all trades. He always had a new project on the horizon, a new passion to chase. But here's the catch. He never stuck around to finish what he started. His life was a mosaic of half-completed ventures, a testament to a lack of commitment. What happens when you don't stick to your commitments? You might think, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong. You see, every unfinished project is a chink in your armor, a blow to your credibility. People stopped taking Mike seriously. They saw him as unreliable, someone who couldn't be counted on. But the real damage was invisible, buried deep within Mike. With every broken commitment, he was losing respect for himself. He began to question his own worth. His self-esteem crumbled under the weight of unkept promises and unfinished projects. He was eroding his own credibility, not just in the eyes of others, but in his own eyes. That's the thing about commitment. It's not just about the goal or the project, it's about you. When you follow through on your commitments, you build a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. You reinforce your own value, your own self-worth. Failing to commit is like digging your own pit, one shovel full at a time. Every unfinished project, every broken promise, deepens that pit, pushing you further away from your potential. Don't be like Mike. Recognize the power of commitment. Stick to your word. See your projects through to the end, not just for the outcome, but for the journey, for the person you become in the process. Lesson four, the danger of having no core values. Core values, those guiding principles that form the bedrock of who you are. Some young guys think they're optional. They think they can navigate life without them. Let me tell you something, they couldn't be more wrong. You see, core values are not just ideas. They're not just nice words you jot down on a piece of paper. They are your compass, your guiding star in the chaotic sea of life. Without them, you're adrift in the current, at the mercy of every passing wave. When you lack core values, you lack a sense of self. You become like a leaf in the wind, easily swayed, easily tossed around. You become susceptible to influences that don't serve you. You find yourself saying yes when you mean no, doing things that don't align with who you truly are. And here's the most dangerous part. Without core values, you're vulnerable. You're like an unprotected castle with no walls, no defense. Manipulation seeps in, disguised as influence. Trends dictate your actions, not your own beliefs. Before you know it, you've lost your self-identity. You've lost yourself. No core values mean no direction, no purpose. It's like setting off on a journey without a destination in mind. You just wander aimlessly taking whatever path seems appealing at the moment. But a life without direction is a life of confusion, of regret. Brothers, this isn't a path you want to walk. It's not a gamble you want to take. Core values are non-negotiable. They're your shield, your guide, your identity. They define your boundaries, shape your decisions, steer your actions, define your core values, stand by them fiercely. Don't let anything or anyone sway you from your principles. This isn't just about being stubborn, it's about being steadfast. It's about knowing who you are and what you stand for. Without core values, you're just surviving, not living. So find your core values, live by them, make them your foundation, your bedrock. This is your life. Don't let it be dictated by anyone else's rules. Define your own rules, set your own boundaries, carve your own path, stand firm on your values. Lesson five, the regret of missed opportunities. Guys, let's get real. Life isn't a dress rehearsal. It's a one-shot deal. The clock keeps ticking and it waits for no one. You blink and opportunities pass you by. You hesitate and doors close. And we're not talking about any old doors. We're talking about doors that could lead to personal growth, career advancement, meaningful relationships. Doors that once closed may never open again. And the key to these doors, action. Quick, decisive action. Regret is a bitter pill to swallow, men. The taste of what if lingers, long after the moment has passed. You see, missed opportunities are not just about what you lose in the moment. It's about what you lose in the long run. 
the chance to grow, to succeed, to live a fulfilling life. We've all been there. A chance meeting, a sudden opening, a fleeting moment of possibility. But we hesitated. We let fear, doubt, complacency hold us back. And just like that, the moment was gone. This isn't about recklessness, gentlemen. This isn't about leaping without looking. It's about courage. It's about being brave enough to step out of your comfort zone, to take risks, to seize opportunities. The world offers abundant chances for success, but these opportunities are often fleeting. They require courage and decisiveness. They require you to step up, to take action, to seize the moment. So the next time opportunity knocks, don't let it pass you by. Don't let fear, doubt, or complacency hold you back. Rise to the occasion, seize the moment, make the decision, take the risk. Life is a series of moments, and in these moments, opportunities arise. Don't let them slip through your fingers. Don't let regret end up being your companion. Guys, I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm here to share wisdom, hard-earned and hard-learned. And here's the raw truth. You can't afford to learn these lessons too late in life. Your life, gentlemen, is a canvas, a masterpiece waiting to be created. Every choice, every decision is a stroke of the brush. And these lessons, they're your palette, your tools. They can guide your hand, shape your strokes, define your masterpiece. Take these five lessons, digest them, test them, implement them in your own life. Don't just take my word for it. See the difference for yourself. Feel the shift within you. Taste the sweetness of a life steered by wisdom, not by regret. Be great.